A new warning in the season of giving. The Ohio Attorney General is suing an Ohio based nonprofit. It's called Cops for Kids, now calling it a scam. Sounds like a legit one, right? Chief investigative reporter Craig Cheatham is here with a deeper look at the organization and key questions that we should ask ourselves before we donate our money. What'd you find, Craig? Tanya and Craig, Ohio Attorney General Mike DeWine says Cops for Kids has raised millions of dollars during the last decade, but giving less than 2% of it to police and children. Nearly 80% of the donated money went to a telemarketing company. So how can you prevent yourself from getting scammed? What did you like? At the Bowtie Cafe in Mount Adams. I'm gonna make a pretty latte. Lena Mama Lise served us her rules for giving money to charity. I'm gonna look up OhioCopsForKids.com. Okay. Before giving, she looks at a nonprofit's website. We showed her the one for Cops for Kids. Oh, the page cannot be found. Is that a red flag to you? Yeah, absolutely. This is a real scam. Ohio Attorney General Mike DeWine says Cops for Kids raised more than $4 million during the last decade, spending nearly 80% of it on telemarketing, then paying its two employees most of the rest. That leaves only about $74,000, uh, or less than 2% of the money raised going to actual, actual charitable programming. Is it legal? <laughs> DeWine says Cops for Kids misrepresented itself, so he's suing them. It says that very little money went to the children. Is that true? No. Our Scripps television affiliate in Cleveland spoke with the men <laughs> identified on Cops for Kids tax records as being the only two paid employees. I'm not aware. <laughs> Can you comment, please? Is a charity accountable? Can you see what they do with your money? Just two questions answered by Lena Mama Lise. It's very personal. Before she donates a penny. She puts her money where her heart is. For the first eight days of his life, it was critical and it was scary. Her son, Gavin, fighting for his life in a children's hospital. Next month, he celebrates his seventh birthday. When she donates money, most of it goes to the hospital. I know exactly where it goes because I was a recipient of it, so it's very personal. When you check out a charity, you can find valuable information in many places, both online and in line. All right, <laughs> you're welcome. The I-Team has some tips on donating to charities. First of all, give to groups you know. You've seen their work. You've even benefited from it, perhaps. And stay local. The money is more likely to be spent in your community. Visit the charity, see how it uses money, and even volunteer. And ask questions. People who want your money should always welcome questions about how they will spend it. Definitely some great reminders there. Thank you, see. Thank you.